So methane is a greenhouse gas which accounts for the majority uh, of greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture. It's actually at a level of around 60%. So methane is harmful because it's 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Its sources include enteric fermentation or the feed digestion from cattle and stored slurries and manures. So how is methane produced? The digestive system of cattle contain a microbial ecosystem called the rumen microbiome. And this microbiome converts grass and feed into energy source for the animal. However, they also produce methane as a byproduct of this fermentation process. It's produced by a group of microbes called the methanogens. And then it's released into the atmosphere from the rumen via the animal's breath. It's also produced during the storage of manure and slurry by these same methanogens. So why are we all talking about methane and why is there an urgent action required to reduce methane emissions from agriculture? Well, in line with EU legislation, Ireland will need to decrease national greenhouse gas emissions by 30% by the end of 2030 and reducing methane will be key to meeting our targets in that regard. So how are we going to do it? There is an urgent requirement to develop innovative strategies to reduce methane emissions from agriculture in Ireland. Ongoing research in Chagask is now focused on reducing methane emissions from beef production using two main approaches. Firstly, by developing feed additives and then by breeding initiatives to reduce methane emissions. One of our projects, which was recently funded by the Department of Agriculture, called Methabate, aims to develop farm-ready technologies to reduce methane emissions from ruminant fermentation and stored manure and slurries. They include a number of feed supplements such as 3NOP, halides, seaweeds and oils. Our research will investigate the effectiveness of these supplements to reduce methane emissions in the laboratory, first of all, using a rumen simulation technique. We will also plan to measure how effective these additives are in reducing methane from beef cattle and try then to understand the mechanism of action of these supplements using a range of sequencing technologies. It will be critical that we examine if the abatement strategy persists and they are effective long term. Also, are they cost effective? We also need to ensure that any compounds used as a methane abatement strategy in Irish agriculture are safe for animals and humans and do not result in any toxic residues in meat products. We're also involved in exciting research with our collaborators in the Irish Cattle Breeding Federation at Tully Performance Testing Station in County Kildare, where strategies are being developed to breed cattle with a lower environmental footprint, ultimately improving beef sustainability.